If you want to know how to become extremely confident, how to stop comparing yourself to other people and actually turn that into your superpower, and if you want to find out the most amazing online resource to become more confident just in 21 days, then this video is definitely for you. Hi! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi my best friends and welcome back to my sleep bar. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can become your most confident self in the next 21 days. I'm going to be giving you guys different hacks, telling you what to do in order to become your most confident self. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how to stop comparing yourself to others and one of the most amazing online resources that you can use to become more confident. I'm also popping up some of my favorite comments from you guys on the screen. And without further ado, let's get into these tips. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is actually something that I looked into a lot for my psychology class. It was that basically when you're listening to a song, you usually tend to visualize what is being said in that song, which then can affect how you feel. For example, I don't know, I want to pick like a popular song right now, but I'm going to try to choose something that's not inappropriate. A song by Adeline Morin that is called Yellow. It has lyrics like, she's like Sunshine and Sunflowers by Bango. When you hear that line, you're going to visualize sunflowers and sunshine which will most likely make you feel happy because sunflowers are kind of like associated with feeling happy but basically choose the songs with the visuals that make you feel empowered and that make you feel more confident actually i dare you to like go through your spotify playlist and look at all the different visuals that those songs have been putting into your head and kind of like see which ones were beneficial for you which ones were not this is something i'm starting to do so much for myself this summer because i realized that a lot a lot of the songs I've been listening to really kind of like don't have the best connotations to them. And another thing is that usually emotions are contagious. So you can also feel the emotion of the artist that's performing the song because of emotional contagion. So yeah, definitely pay attention to the songs that you're listening to. And like a bonus thing with this is also that music with heavier bass can increase your confidence because it kind of makes you feel more powerful. So before you have to do something important, like you're going on a date, you're going to meet your crush, you're going into your first day of school, or something where you would need a lot of confidence, try listening to a song that has heavier bass in it and see what happens. So it is definitely important to understand how confidence even works on a psychological level, why some people are more confident, why some people are not as confident, in order to be able to improve your confidence because not knowing that, you can implement all the hacks and all the different tricks, but it's not really going to affect you that much and at the same time, have a structured plan of action that you do every single day that will bring you closer towards your goal. So the way I've been doing this is by taking a 21 day confidence challenge by Marissa Peer, which honestly, let me tell you about it. At first, I was definitely not really sure about it when I was asked to participate in her 21 day confidence challenge. But honestly, I will tell you guys that when I started the challenge, it was incredible. What I liked about it was that Marissa actually knows what she's doing and she's sharing her knowledge of psychology and making it incredibly easy to understand, as well as making the challenge incredibly easy to follow along and implementing different psychology principles to also ensure that people doing the challenge are going to be successful in it because it has what you get to do every single day outlined for you and formatted in such an easy way to follow along and the qualifications of Marissa Peer as well which if you guys don't know she's a world-renowned speaker and a best-selling author who is also named the best British therapist having someone guide you through the whole process is way more impactful so I think doing the challenge is definitely worth it especially because you're also going to be putting back into yourself which is something that will make you more confident Confident because when you invest in yourself, you make yourself feel like you're worthy and by increasing your self-worth, you're increasing your confidence in yourself. So if you want to join the challenge, you can use the link in my description and also you can use the code ANGEL to get 15% off. If you want to invest in yourself and if you want to become more confident, then definitely, definitely check it out. The third tip that I'm going to talk about you guys is how to turn comparison into your superpower. Comparison is definitely something we're all 
all familiar with like i myself have compared myself so many times to so many freaking people like big youtubers or big tiktokers like charlie d'amelio or even some people that i used to go to high school with being like oh my god they're like so much more successful than me or like this girl looks so amazing now and why am i not doing that and what am i doing with my life you can be comparing yourself by looks you can be comparing yourself by other metrics like popularity social media following but basically what you have to understand when you're comparing yourself to someone comparison just shows you what you want and where you want to get in life it's actually something that evolved in people because in the past it would help people to survive because back when like people were farming for a living if you saw someone who had way better potatoes than yours that might make you wonder why does that person have those amazing potatoes and how can i get the same thing so it was a survival mechanism which kind of like stuck with us to this day so now we're also comparing ourselves because we want to live better but at the same time we usually forget what comparison actually is which is just something that is pointing you towards where you want to go and showing you what you want to achieve and usually we just use it to bring ourselves down but what i want you guys to do when you start comparing yourself or being jealous of someone think about what is it that you're jealous of or what is it that you're comparing what does that person have that your jealousy is showing you that you want to have maybe you see someone who has a really nice shape and they look so well and you start to compare yourself to them or you start to get jealous of them stop the comparison by counting backwards from five you can go five four three two one and when you get to one you have to completely cut out that thought and replace it with how can i have the same thing if you're looking at someone who has a really nice body it is most likely showing you that you also want to be more toned use that person as an inspiration instead to work out more and get to their level but at the same time with this you kind of have to stay realistic because there are things that cannot be the same for everyone for example different people have different body shapes and you can't really change that different people also have different eye colors you wouldn't be able to change it as well but when it comes to such things as for example achievements if someone gets a higher grade than you and you feel jealous of them use that as an inspiration to actually work harder and achieve the same grade in that way jealousy can actually help you a lot the fourth one is a really big one which is to implement the practices of self-respect and what i mean by implementing the practices of self-respect is things that you do that make you feel like you're really respecting yourself you're respecting your body and you're putting back into yourself it can be working out it can also be putting on a really nice smelling lotion or a really nice perfume it can also be wearing something that you really like on yourself find yourself something that is going to make you feel happy and is going to to make you feel luxurious or like you respect yourself for the longest time i really felt like i did not deserve to buy myself those like luxurious lotions they're not really luxurious it's just like you know like lush lotions or e rocher lotions i was always like i'm just gonna use like a two dollar cream or something but that in turn honestly made me feel like trash i was literally showing myself that like i'm not worth more than two dollars and that was me disrespecting myself and obviously when i wasn't respecting myself I was taking the same exact treatment from other people or maybe for you it can be something different it can be dressing nicely it can be doing your hair do something that will show yourself that you value yourself and that is going to increase your confidence so much Another thing that I want to tell you guys is that a lot of the times we tend to base our worth on whether or not someone else finds us worthy. We worry about what other people think of us. Like if someone likes us back, we're going to be more confident. If someone thinks we're beautiful, if someone thinks we're interesting, if someone thinks we're smart and we're letting other people's opinions actually affect our confidence. Well, one thing that I want to tell you is to never let other people determine how confident you feel about yourself and how worthy you feel. Your confidence confidence and your belief in yourself has to come from within and not from other people because it's great to have someone think you're amazing but at the same time other people's opinions are usually very easy to change and it's impossible to have everyone like you they don't matter as many people as there are there are going to be as many opinions and one of my favorite quotes i think it's by taylor swift which is you're not an opinion of someone that doesn't even know you 
And the next tip is to understand that confidence is built by experience. When you do something more, you believe more in your ability to do it. When you're doing something for the first time, it might be more scary. You might not know exactly that you are able to do it. You might not be as confident about it. When you're playing tennis for the first time, when you're standing on a skateboard for the first time, when you're playing guitar for the first time in front of an audience, you might be more nervous to do it. You might not be as sure in how to do it because you don't really know how it works you've never done it before so you don't even know how you're gonna perform at it but when you've done something so many times over and over again when you rode that skateboard so many times when you played tennis when you've played guitar in front of an audience so many times before you're gonna be more confident in your ability to do it and you're gonna be more confident in yourself when doing that thing i became confident when talking to people that i didn't know by actually freaking practicing it like every single time my family and i would go on a vacation i would walk up to people that I didn't know my age, if we were in the same hotel, if we were near the same pool, if we were on the same like sightseeing trip, and I would make a conversation with those people. And sometimes we would end up becoming really great friends. I was incredibly scared, but I still took action regardless. And every single time it became easier and easier and easier. And I know you might be afraid of failing, but you have to understand that failing is actually how we learn to do things. You learn to walk by falling a thousand times. Times. You learn to not stay up all night on a school day when you have to wake up early in the morning by staying up all night and then having a freaking headache the next morning because you didn't get any sleep. Messing up something and failing at something is how we learn. And usually, even when something that is like the worst thing in your head happens, it's never as bad as you imagine it in your head. So just go for it, take action, and I promise you it is going to make you so much more confident. The shout out of the day goes to Lauren on Instagram right here here she always reposts my posts on her story and she's so active on my instagram liking all of my posts and if you want to be the next shout out of the day all you have to do is be active on my social media platforms instagram tiktok and youtube and the next one might as well be you definitely join me in doing the 21 day challenge the link again is in my description and you can use my code angel i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye